go ahead and seal the deal right here. If Slush wins this one, we will go on to the fifth and final map. Of course, it's being a best of five tournament, single elimination, and we are about to enter the game. Kind of funny to think that this is just the Octo Finals, that these players have battled through so many other awesome uh, opponents that now they have to battle through like five more to be able to win that yeah. Noble Final. Yep, we have and all the final boss. Yeah, the final boss, the final boss at the end of the internet, Gregory Idrafield. <laughs> all about you in the top right as the blue Terran. In the bottom left, we have Slush as the red Zerg. Yep, and Blistering Sands, uh, man, it can be uh, it can be a blessing and it can be a curse. I, I really don't know, you know, this is chosen by Slush having lost the last matchup. And if the curse continues, every map that Slush has picked mm -hmm. has actually been his demise. So I'm very curious to see what he's going to do here. I think Blistering Sands actually could be uh, even 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 more difficult on a fast expand because there's not as much uh, of a of a walk distance here. But you know the the Terran can do just about anything here. Not seeing anything crazy except Supply Depot up near the command center and uh, just continuing to drone over here for Slush. We're at 13. Yeah, Slush looks like he is gearing up to do some sort of early expand build. Here comes two barracks from All About You. Uh oh. No, he's just going to be scouting with one of them. He could have been doing some sort of double barracks yeah. proxy, but the big concern for Terran is, how do I deal with these rocks getting knocked down at my back entrance? Because really, they're going to get knocked down. There's no, no doubt about that. If a Zerg player wants to break it with roaches, he gets the chance to break it with roaches. So this means that Terran either needs to have big marine marauder forces, very, very fast stim, some, some big mobile force, to be able to account for the fact that a lot, lot, lot of guys could be coming into his back door very quickly, and look at this. Yep, we do have a proxy barracks uh, right over by the uh, middle Zelnaga to uh, tower at the left side of the map. Meanwhile, I do want to say that uh, we did see a 14-13 build and a double racks. Uh, wow. Okay. All About You does not want to go on to a Game 5. He's looking to end this immediately. And one thing I want to note, even if this does fail miserably, I really honestly, Terran is still going to be very happy to have two barracks that he can float back home Absolutely. and begin producing a lot of infantry on one base. There's the Orbital Command going down now for All About You. One Marine is finished right now. Might even go for that extra supply instead of for the Mule, just so he can keep the aggression going as as much as possible. And here's a drone coming up for Slush, but it looks like he has not even begun to do any sort of... Uh, expanding at all. Looks like he's just getting the zergling speed, and this might be a huge loss for All About You. Yeah, uh, we're going to have to see how it goes out. We do have zerglings coming out right now. This SCV is going to get taken out. Going to try to sneak away from there, and uh, maybe he will manage to get away. This, this zergling's just a little bit faster. They will eventually catch up, take it out, but that's okay. He didn't see what was important, and that is these two proxy uh, racks right over here. He's still producing marines out of his uh, base racks as well, and unfortunately that over Overlord uh, didn't get much information uh, as it went the other way. And what do you got? Oh, oh Zergling's going to oh, spot it. Uh-oh, Slush oh, knows exactly what's up, and he oh, smelled something was up earlier on. He is getting a Baneling Nest very fast. He has not even begun to expand. All about use push. Might fail miserably here, but either way, he's coming up with a lot of Marines, and that Baneling Nest is not quite done yet. And, oh, ooh, almost getting supply blocked as well. Oh my god, the Marines and the first SCVs are going to move in position. The Queen is out here. Here come the Zerglings. Speed is just about to finish. He morphs his first Banelings as well. Bunker is going to go down, and he does have a few more Marines coming in from the back. So he's got to be uh -oh. careful not to underestimate this attack. And it looks like he's pulling back, but those Banelings are just finishing, so he has the three Banelings up. It's going to be very, very tense. The bunker's very low on life, but he's still trying to finish it up as well. He needs to stay back on the creep so he can get that speed boost there. The Banelings coming up and all about you is not controlling very well against him. He picks off one. Oh! The rush gets taken down by Slush. <laughs> Dude, I saw the Marines' as little dots on the minimap. The moment they all imploded, all the little Marines just started returning to base. It's like, yeah, <laughs> that's not a great idea. And we are going to... Now, these uh, these barracks are actually still producing, so he has not lifted them yet. And he doesn't even care. He knows that there could be an open uh, op opening here to get an all-about-used base. However, he did go ahead and put down a bunker, and a second one is going to go up as well. Very, very smart. But 
but this is that opportunity. Take out those back rocks if you've got to. Uh, hard to cover both areas, but look at this. All about you. He's like, whatever. He knows about the racks. I'm just going to keep busting out Marines right from here until I feel like this racks is, uh, is a danger. So it looks like Slush sees this and says, ooh, some free Marines, and here he's going to just dart right on up. Very little All About You can do about this. He's decided to keep those there for a long time. Slush doing as much damage as he can all over the place while he gets four Bane Links at the front, and it looks like All About You finally electing to lift those racks, pull them back. Gas is done now as well. Command Center going up for All About You, but he has to be so careful because there are Bane Links at the bottom of his ramp. Yeah, and we got a ton of Zerglings coming out as well. More Bane Links being morphed. So he is going to go for a pretty big bust right here. Tech Lab just went down there, so that's an option. Of course, a Supply Depot is an option as well. Uh, bunker. So either way, this is a great position here for Slush. He seems to have pulled this off nicely. Also, the hatch is going down. Here we go, Zergling scouting, seeing what's up there. Wants to identify a target, and here he goes with the Banes. Bane Link's now moving up the ramp. Uh-oh, that Tech Lab's only just now begun to research, and the Bunker gets demolished immediately. Slush now darting right up to the top. Picks off another Marine, all about you. Looks like he might suffer another uh -oh. Zergling Baneling bus loss. SCV is coming out right now. Other two oh. barracks have just landed, and there was a nice hit by that Baneling. And 10 food for all about you. He wow. gives the GG. We are tied up 2-2, going to a deciding game five. Yeah, very, very quick matchup there, but uh, I really feel like uh, like Slush made the right decision there. He's like, forget about the fast mm -hmm. expand. I want my speedlings early. He worked in the banelings very, very well. He held off the Marines, although the timing looked like it might have favored All About You a little bit. You did say, you know, those Bailey's are probably going to morph, and as long <laughs> as he can hold off a little bit, he's going to be able to clean that up. And uh, I just think he handled it very well. I think it also speaks well 